Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Phoebe. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you've been here, thank you so much for sticking around. Today I am going to be doing a green eyeshadow look for you all, a green halo eyeshadow look. Last week I posted a yellow eyeshadow look and you guys loved it. I received a lot of um, great comments on Instagram and even here on YouTube. So I wanted to continue with the theme of bright colors on chocolate skin. If you are interested in seeing what it is that I'm about to do, stick around. It is going to be a walkthrough so you guys can learn how to do a halo eyeshadow look from me. Okay, and one more thing, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, because around here you want to stay on top of every drop, okay? Anyway, let's get started. Let's get started. To prime my eyelids, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Ferris. This color is going to allow the pigment to really pop when I start applying the eyeshadow. I use the Real Techniques brush to blend it out. Today I'm going to be using a Morphe palette. To start off, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. This is her first palette with Morphe. The color that I'm starting off with is Enchanted. It's this dark green. And what I'm doing is I'm just applying it in a dome shape or an upside down C. I'm applying it somewhat under my crease but also in the middle of my crease. And I'm packing this color in because I really want it to... Um, The brush that I'm using is a Morphe brush. This came from a pack that I bought at Ulta, so it does not have a name. Next, I'm gonna go up with a lighter green. This is from a Morphe palette that does not have names for the shadows. This is the Morphe 35C Multicolor Palette. It's no longer sold. Um, they discontinued it, I've had it for years. But what I'm doing is I'm building up a gradient by using different shades of green. So I started off with the Enchanted Green from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and now I'm going in with a lighter green from this 35C palette. Once you've blended everything out, I'm going to use a yellow to just make everything pop. The yellow, again, is going to give it a gradient effect, and it's just going to make it brighter, especially closer to my brows. Now, if you notice that some of the colors that you started off with have faded away, you can always go back in with the brushes that you use and just reinforce those colors. For me, that means the color Enchanted. If I notice that it's not as pigmented as I would like, I will go back with the first brush that I use to just reinforce that color. All right, you guys, so now we are going to cut our crease. You see me kind of like moving my head up and down because I'm trying to find the perfect position for this cut crease. And what I'm doing is I'm going above my natural crease. That's why you see me moving my head like a bobblehead. By going above my natural crease, it's going to, one, prevent the concealer from shifting once I apply it onto my lid. Two, it makes my eyes bigger for this look. And three, it prevents the concealer from shifting or moving when you start um, applying it all over the lids. Once you've drawn that line, you're going to do a hurricane coming all the way down your lid. Now we are not doing a full cut crease, so this should just be in the center of your lid and a little bit to the left and right of your eyelid. Draw a box, if you wanna call it, a hurricane, but you are not filling the entire eyelid. I'm going in with my Pond's Makeup Remover to clean the concealer and the excess eyeshadow color. Not everyone does this. I do this because it allows me to come back in with more concealer to reinforce my cut crease to make sure it's really sharp and to make sure that it pops how I want. You don't have to do this. You can just leave it as is and then start packing on the color. So you can see I'm going back in with that concealer and it's just to reinforce the crease and also to prime that area for more eyeshadow. It's a bit tedious but I personally don't find it tedious. I think it's a really great way to make sure that your look or eyeshadow pops. But again, like I mentioned, you do not have to do this. Going back in into my Morphe palettes, I'm gonna start off with the color Enchanted. And the reason I'm doing this is I just wanna build up that colors on the outside. This is going to allow everything to look seamless once we fill in that halo eye look. So you're applying the color Enchanted to the outer corner and the inner corner. We're literally just building up everything that we first did and it's going to intensify the eye look and it's gonna make everything seamless. So I'm just following the same steps that I did before I cut my crease. Two 
to fill in the halo eye, I'm going to go back into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to pick up the color Diva. This is right beside Enchanted. I'm using a flat brush. This color I'm applying just into where the halo is or where your cut crease is. I'm putting it right above, right on top of the concealer. I'm also using it to just intensify that line that I started off with. And again, this is just going to make everything pop. I wasn't using any specific colors for this look, but I was definitely going for like a money green look. So that's why you see me like using just green and sticking to the family of greens here. Next up, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, and I'm going to be using the color Molly. And again, this is another green color, but it's much brighter green than the color Diva that I initially used. I'm putting it right on top of Diva, but I'm keeping it in the center of my eye where we cut the crease. And again, you want to continue intensifying that cut crease. Do not mess up that line. Color in the line, not outside the line. This is something you should have learned in like elementary school, preschool, whatever, but do not go outside the lines, stay in the lines. And I am using the same brush that I used to pick up Diva with. I'm just patting that color onto my eyelid. So it feels like we're using a lot of palettes, but I promise you do not have to use the ones I use. You literally can use anything you want and achieve this look. I went in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, 18 Wonders palette, and I'm using the color Moss. Again, in the family of greens, we're keeping it. And I'm applying it right in the center on top of the two colors that I previously applied. So I'm applying it on top of Diva and on top of Molly. I started off with my fingers, but to keep the crease sharp and to prevent messing up my cut crease, I went in with the same brush that I applied the first two colors with. Next up, I went in with my Maybelline mascaras. This is just to prime my eyelids for eyelashes. Um, I love this mascara. It's inexpensive. It does what it has to do for my little lashes. Today's foundation, I'm using the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Foundation. If you have not watched my review video, go check it out. I know it looks a little red or orange on me, but I promise you guys, it's gonna come together. This is my actual color. <laughs> it doesn't look that way right now, but it all comes together. For concealer, I am using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo 16 Hour Wear Concealer. I just picked this up, so I'm still testing it out, but so far I actually like it. Um, it hasn't disappointed me. One thing I would say is do not wait to blend it out because it dries very quickly. Like, do not wait. I usually blend out my contour before I blend out my concealer, but this time was a mistake. It dried up so quick. Um, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut to just cover up hyperpigmentation around my lips, aka my facial hair. For contour, I'm going to go in with my favorite contour stick, and this is by Black Radiance. This is their foundation stick, but I use it for contouring. If you want to know how I do my base, go check out my base tutorial video. I'm just blending everything out here, okay? So enjoy the music. To set my face, I'm using my Beauty Bakery setting powder. You guys, this setting powder, again, if you have not watched one of my other videos, this is a drugstore video, go check it out because this setting powder is amazing. It just melts into the skin, but it sets your skin beautifully. Um, I went to Target to go pick up some more and it was sold out. So I hope it's because you guys watched my video that it was sold out in my area, but I'm gonna order some online because it's a must have and you need to have at least two or three at home. Next up, I'm going to just use some bronzer to warm up my face. I'm using the Fenty bronzer in the color Mocha Mommy. Again, this is a favorite of mine. 
If you have not watched my base tutorial, definitely go check out my base tutorial. It'll tell you exactly why I'm doing what it is that I'm doing. To just set everything and to take away any powdery look, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralize Powder in Deep Dark. And again, this is just to pack everything into my skin. I'm not brushing it off. As you can see, I'm pressing it into my skin. To contour my face, I'm going to use my Black Radiance Powder. And again, this is just setting my contour. It's just intensifying and it's making it look better. Excuse the noise in the background. For blush, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush palette. I'm using a mixture of the peach and the deep red color. Excuse my edges, y'all. I do not feel like laying them things down today. It's just going to be like that. Everything that I used today was a favorite. To highlight, I'm using my Lorac Tantalizer. This is a bronzer. It bronzes light skin people, but for me, I use it as a highlighter because nothing about this is a bronzer, but it's a favorite. And again, I've had it for years. Excuse the noise. Going back into my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to pick up the color Enchanted, and I'm going to pack this color in my waterline. I'm using a Morphe brush. There's no name for it. I'm sorry, but I'm using a Morphe brush to just pack this color in my um, waterline. Again, I'm using the same steps that I use to apply the colors on my lids. I'm starting off with the darkest and just slowly building up a gradient with all the other green colors and the yellow, as you can see me pointing here. I use the yellow color to just blend everything out and to also just make it brighter. Like you can see in my upper eye area, like right above my brow bone, you see that yellow popping there. I wanted to do the same thing under my eye. I am using, I believe this is a NYX eyeliner. I don't know the color, but I will put it in the description box. I am lining my waterline with it. I wanted to keep everything green. So I'm using a green liner. This has hints of gold in it, so it worked out perfectly um, on my waterline. I will link the color and the name in the description box. Going back into my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to use the color Queen. And this is just going in my tear duct, and I just wanted it to make my eyes pop. And honestly, it did what it had to. I kept everything gold, and then I just used this gold to make it pop. And the gold matched the liner that I used to line my lips. I'm using my e.l.f. NYX Professional Lip Liner in the color Espresso. This is one of my favorites. If you don't have this color, if you have the MAC Chestnut, this works just as well. For lipstick, I use my Juvia's Place In Vogue lipstick. It's like an orangey pink color. Perfect, looks great with the brown, and then I went over it with my Fenty Cream Gloss in the color Honey Waffles. I didn't want to do a nude lip, but I also didn't want to do like an entirely matte orange lip, so this worked out perfectly. I set my face on my Milani spray, and voila, here I am. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so proud of this look. Okay, this is my second time doing a halo eye, and I totally killed it. The first time I did it, it was okay, but this time, amazing. I hope you guys give this tutorial a try. If you really enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your bell notification. Gives it a thumbs up. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their mama friends to come check me out. Let me know if you like this voiceover. It's a little weird, but I think it's okay, especially when I have noise in the background. <laughs>